Senator Henry, Mr. Armstrong, to explain his floor amendment. Please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, by the way, the code section's reference there, if in case you haven't figured it out, is the right to work law. Uh, in speaking to my floor amendment, uh, I suppose the gentleman from RICO's comments uh, uh, lay the groundwork. <clears throat> I found his dissertation very, very interesting and enlightening. The uh, problem is it doesn't have much to do with the bill. Uh, it has, as I read Senate Bill 161, I don't think there's anything in there that talks about repeal of right to work. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it, as a practicing attorney, and I've talked with a number of practicing attorneys around here, you probably wouldn't be surprised that over the last couple of decades, more and more alternative dispute resolution is being used in the Commonwealth. And all alternative dispute resolution means is just a fancy term for mediation or arbitration, an alternative to go into court and litigate. And the reason it's become so popular is it's cheaper. Lawyers, as you might imagine, are a little expensive. Okay? And any time that you can cut Mr. down Speaker. on the amount... Mr. Speaker, would the gentleman yield for a question? I, I would prefer I'm not to, Mr. Speaker, to my good friend. You. I will in a moment. It's cheaper. And that's why in the personal injury arena or in, in commercial litigation, virtually any other area of the law, and including workers' comp, more and more you're seeing uh, alternative dispute resolution. And the interesting thing is, in non-organized situations where you have a, an employer who's not unionized, if they want to enter into alternative dispute resolution of workers' comp cases, they can do it right now. And all this does is extend it to uh, those there. But nevertheless, if anybody is at all concerned about whether or not we're doing anything to diminish the right to work law, then this floor amendment should take care of your fears and your concerns. Out of an abundance of caution, Mr. Speaker, uh, I think the floor amendment is appropriate, and I hope it will be the pleasure of the House to support the floor amendment. Now, I yield to my good friend from Chesterfield if he still wishes to ask Chesterfield, a question. Mr. Nixon.